When I first started this, I was doing it just to tag along with my brothers. My brothers loved doing martial arts and I was just sort of tagging along, copying what they were doing. And I realized that as I continued on, I started to, started to beat adults as a, as a young teenager. And there was a, a massive confidence boost. I was always that, always that fat kid and it boosted my confidence. It, it, it gave me something to, something to change. Don't test me my mood wrong. The first impression of Josh was obviously that he was very quiet, a little bit shy too, very humble, very polite, which I liked a lot. I loved it about good fighters. Uh, obviously back then I did not know just yet that he's going to be a great fighter. But the very first impression of him was definitely that he was, uh, there was something, there was like, a, as they say, the glimmer in his eye. He just kind of knew he had something and it was about, you know, finding what that something was. My name is Joshua Kulabau. I'm a professional MMA fighter. My record is 7-0 with four finishes. I fight out of Australian top team and Eagle MMA. I'm the first ever Diamondback featherweight champion. I'm also currently the two-time Hex Fight Series featherweight champion. You know, I also have this image of Josh as being this young kid uh, full of enthusiasm but not a lot of experience, but that's changed and I, I tend to forget that. So when I'm in front of him, I'm, you know, I'm a little bit relaxed and then he just, yeah, he always surprises me with his timing, his speed, he, he's a strong featherweight as well, and, um, but it's his fight IQ that gets me the most. You know? He's always moving, switching stands, always coming up with unorthodox techniques, whether it be on the ground or, or, or standing up while you're striking. So you can never rest with Josh and, and, he, and he's always evolving and improving. So you're sparring one day and you come back and spar next week and it's a totally different animal. So um, that's probably you know, the biggest thing I'll take away from moving around with Josh is just how quickly he's learning. When I hear the name Josh Coolabau, I think of uh, hard work and determination. You, know, you don't meet too many people as uh, focused as Josh. Uh, he, he's a real professional in every means. You know, he always brings something new to the table, always gets you thinking, and um, he's always trying new things. So uh, it really gets me uh, testing myself against uh, one of the best in the country, and I feel like one of the best in the world. It's not easy. That's why I do it. <laughs> easy work! Certain fighters, they just fight any fight, but I think Josh is the type of fighter that really rises to the occasion. He really needs a challenge. So when we started picking his fights, we never picked anybody who was easy. We always picked somebody who was a challenge. And because I said, there was that something in him that I saw straight away, and it just showed that it didn't matter what he did on the mat. What mattered was that once he was out there, everything was on the line. Like you just knew that Josh would run it through. He's that kind of fighter. I think what sets Josh apart from a lot of other young fighters that we see out there is um, he's got a you know, really mature head on his shoulders. He's, he's such a student of the game, you know, in whatever facet it be, grappling, striking, um, you know, and he's humble. He's always you know, in the gym with a smile, says good day to everyone. Yeah, I just think he's just, you know, just, just a great kid great student uh, and there's an animal when he steps in the cage and he's always evolving and you never know what you're going to get so I mean his record shows for it he's got zero uh, next to his losses and, and a stack of belts uh, you know, next to his name so yeah actions speak louder than words and, that, and that's just probably Josh Coolabau um, in one sentence is, you know, actions speak louder than words. So he's won three titles he's went the distance three times and you haven't seen anything yet I've seen it I've been on the receiving end of it you haven't seen it because he hasn't let people take him down, he hasn't shown any of his jiu-jitsu yet, he hasn't shown much of his striking yet, besides some hands, and he has still won every single fight he's been in. So I think there is, uh, his pool is so deep, he's yet to show the world what he can do. I think that he's UFC ready now. Um, I've trained all around the world. I've trained with some, some great guys. I've trained with some great coaches. And I don't feel like there's anything more that he needs to prove. I think that he's shown that he's UFC caliber. He's taken out the best guys in, in the country. And the next thing for him is the UFC. 2019, we're, we're looking to make some big noise. I, I want at least three fights this year, whether it be in the UFC or not. I just want to stay active. You know, I want to show everyone I'm the best in this country. And eventually, I'm going to be the best in the world. 